issues amongst other things. The president uh, has been magnanimous to have invited them to meet with him on uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is a national holiday in Liberia. It's referred to as National Unification Day. So the president has invited the group for a meeting tomorrow so that uh, they can dialogue for a way forward. Uh, regarding the snake, the alleged snake, uh, President Donald Trump always talk about fake news. There was no snake in our president's office. There was snake at the security booth. Those yard snake that goes around in the flower, in the grass, at the security booth at the presidency, that's where the snake was. But unfortunately, fake news had it that it was in the president's office on his desk. For the record, it's not true, and that's why we didn't mention it, because we do not come here to mention fake news. Uh, regarding persecution of former officials, no. The case regarding the uh, 16 billion uh, Liberian dollars, those that went to court were not former officials. The Central Bank of Liberia has called tenure. So the president, the current government inherited the, the Central Bank governor and his deputy, and they were still in the position working for the current government when the name came up in the report and the government took the necessary legal action or, or, or as per our laws. Uh, my sister from Guinea, uh, Daffy asked about the Festula Fund management. Uh, that fund is well managed. Like I said, it's channeled through the Phoebe Hospital, the St. Joseph County Hospital, and other hospitals, where they, when they, after the surgery, the women are given money to commence petty trading to do their business. So it's properly managed, and the women, uh, or the victims, or those that have that sickness, they have a management team to work along with for uh, the management of the fund. The ECOWA radio, we talk about institution. The institution we talk about were other ECOWA institutions. Let me state this for the record. It is extremely discouraging that for four years in this parliament, Every session, we have four to five journalists from a particular country that will come here to call our sessions. ECOWA has a radio station for the community. And even after the special representative of the, of the person of the ECOWA commission wrote a letter for one journalist of the radio station to come and call the ECOWA session, we were denied. I hope that we can discourage it. Every country in this session pays community levy, we must be treated fairly. We cannot come here, we have five journalists for one particular country, and we can have one journalist from the radio station which is in Liberia to come and cover our session. The Liberian delegation, we oppose to this, and if it happens in our next session, we will complete formally to the plenary and we take the necessary legal actions. We want to make this clear for the records. Uh, regarding the uh, 16 billion, like we said, there was, the, the report stated that there was no 16 billion missing. The report stated that the central bank printed an excess of 3 billion, and that is why the government took the necessary actions and those that were in, involved went to court. We were asked about war crimes court. Yes, the issue of war crime court is a daily conversation in Liberia. People that perpetrated the war, people that killed others, have been, there, there have been a lot of pressure from every Liberian, including those in, on, at home and in the diaspora, that uh, there should be an establishment for war crimes code for people to answer to war crimes. Our brother uh, Ba, uh, from Canada, sorry, from Guinea, who is not present, I think he left, um, he talked about our economy. The economy, yes, there are challenges, like every other country, even Nigeria that produces oil. They have, sometimes they have problems with the economy. We do have problems, but there are strong state mechanisms being put into place to remedy the situation. And I'm sure after the dialogue tomorrow with the president or after the June 7 demonstration, there will be additional measures put into place to resolve this. Something. Liberia is a democratic state, and uh, we from the opposition will constructively engage the government and the government will constructively engage us so that we can co together move our country forward. 
Uh, again, my brother from Canada, sorry, from Guinea, talk about roads. We did not mention urban roads. When we said 1,000 plus, 103, we're talking about highways. Um, Shari, the report Shari reflected that. We're talking about highways. We have roads, urban roads, the roads in Monrovia and other cities are paved, but we're talking about the different highways. And unfortunately, due to our civil war, uh, we, the government at the time had bought a lot of machineries to fix the road, but uh, some of those that were serving in the ECOMOC troop took the equipment to Zeriquiri and other areas. So we're not able to fix our roads. We now have to buy new equipment to fix our roads. Um, the legislature, yes, uh, the matter of fact, some of us have mentioned it in public and in private that uh, uh, like the American government statement stated, uh, mentioned two members of the legislature namely uh, Honorable Yeke Koloba from the House of Representatives and Senator Prince White Johnson, third Deputy Speaker of ECOWAS and member of the Liberian Senate. The American government statement reflected them and the leadership of the legislature is currently reviewing the matter for the necessary action. Uh, Honorable Chow asked why my name has right honorable. <laughs> Just to inform Honorable Chow that the uh, I'm fortunate to have served my country as Speaker of my Parliament. So as former Speaker or as Speaker of the Parliament, you have referred uh, the honor. So that's why that is mentioned. Honorable Chow also talked about the continuous absence of our third deputy speaker, Honorable Prince Johnson. Uh, the Liberian delegation is equally concerned. And we have agreed that upon our return to Liberia, we meet with the leadership of the legislature so that this matter can be addressed. As you know, Liberia does not chair any committee yet, and we do not have first rapporteurs. So Liberia is disenfranchised, both at the level of the Bureau and the Conference of Bureau. So we do not attend Bureau, we do not attend Conference of Bureau, and I think it's not fair to Liberia. It's quite embarrassing for us. We are aware the Speaker and the, uh, the Bureau have mentioned this. The Bureau continue to have issue with quorum, due to the absence, the continuous absence of our third deputy speaker, and this is embarrassing to our country. Be assured that we are politicians, men and women of substance, and when we return home, we raise this issue because we cannot continue to be embarrassed at this parliament. Uh, my brother, uh, Sadi talked about uh, the ship registry. You know, like Nigeria, you have oil. We register ships, and people pay us money, and we make money from it. So it's a major source of revenue for our country. Uh, we have the revenue pro the maritime program, like you have the Panama, now we have the Lisca program where ship, we do ship registration, and then they generate revenue for our country. The Congo native. In Liberia, there's a group of American Liberians. As you know, Liberia was found, founded by free slaves from America. And those that are referred to as the American Liberians, we also have a name for them, what we call them, the Congo. So when you hear now report Congo natives, natives are the Zagos, the Massacres, the Hajas, you know, and then we have the American Liberians, you know, <laughs> the Snows and others, you know, that uh, that refer to. Uh, our Fatima Danja talk about human rights issue. We did not address it because Liberia has no political prisoner. There have been no human rights issue. Our government is democratic, we respect the rule of law, we respect the civil liberty of every citizen. We do not have political prisoners, and since it was reflected in our last report, we did not deem it necessary to reflect it in this report again. But uh, we have no human rights issue, we believe in uh, the rule of law, and our democracy is working. I'll turn over to Obozago, who will answer some of the other security questions, and the question referring to a Senate colleague, and Obo Haja Fata Sang will again emphasize on the 16 billion follow back Obo Massacre. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think the Obo Snow has dealt with the bulk of the issues. Uh, let me just throw a little light on the issue of the ship registry. We got on international law, you got what you call flag of convenience. On a doctrine of flag of convenience, uh, your registered flag is used, and it is presumed that uh, your country is represented there. 
So the revenue intake, the country benefits. And our American part, um, partner thought that it was a way to help our country. So under the flag of convenience, we have many all of ship carrying the Liberian flag. Uh, the president, who is a former member of the parliament, took an action against the deputy, the deputy information minister when he tried to promote a divide between the Congo and natives. And then the, the American, further for the British came over an intelligent uh, intel warning their national not to venture into Labra in the wake of this June 7. The American were direct with the diplomatic note. Normally in diplomacy, you are not too direct. They were direct, they call Equator Deputy Speaker Prince Yumi Johnson that uh, he's dividing the country by his utterances. So he should be mindful. Because of his track record, he should be mindful. And then the president had taken action. But for us at the Senate level, we cannot just take a unilateral action with all having a meeting of the mind. So the leadership is meeting the appropriate action befitting the action or the wrong done by Equator Deputy Speaker Prince White Johnson will be made when we all get back to Morovia. So primarily on the issue of the impeachment of the justice that were raised, uh, we have this fund wherein the Roe Fund Act was established as a law. And then at some point in time when fuel consumption, when fuel prices reduce, we have sufficient money being put in the road fund account. No. It was meant to be used to do more rules, the concern are raised by our friend from, from Guinea Bar. Yes, but then uh, the Liberian you. government felt that uh, that? the justice in chamber, Justice yeah. Kabina Jane, issued a writ of centenary that stopped yeah, the government from accessing the money. And as such, one of the representatives who is a member of the ruling establishment and Gray, and another one, Fala, raised an issue and they puffer an impeachment against him. And that impeachment was done in the House of Representatives. The impeachment and then the. What did Minister Ipise? You will have two minutes. Tava? Satisfied the response? On peut adopter. Est-ce que vous êtes satisfait? Le rapport est adopté.